Hey, this is Colt Eastwood, and today is the day that the Forza... Well, yesterday is the day that the Forza Motorsport 7 demo launched on the PC and the Xbox One. But you're seeing this because I recorded this late last night before I hit the rack, but... Uh, we got to see how this game's going to run on my PC and to let you know what that is all about. Uh, over here on settings, I want to let you know that I've got the Intel i5-4570 CPU clocked at 3.2 GHz. No overclocking because, well, I'm kind of a wimp and I don't want to bother to do that. I've also got 16 GB of GDDR3 RAM. And on the GPU side, I've got the Gigabyte. Uh, it's right over here. The Gigabyte... NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1070, which should be enough power to get a game like this running at 4K 60, because racing games aren't all that demanding. <laughs> here's the fun of PC, you launch a game and it's not full screen on the TV, but that's all right. I'm running on a 4K TV here, so um, before I put my foot in my mouth, because I quoted turn 10, I quoted turn 10 saying uh, that you need a GTX 1080 or a Vega 64 in order to run this game smoothly at Xbox One X settings. All right, here we are with the Forza 7 demo on PC, and we're loading into the main settings, and I'm going to check and get the settings equivalent to the Xbox One X, which will be at 4K 60 locked. So let's go in here and let's check the video settings. We are at Ultra at 3840 by 2160 advanced. We have some dynamic settings here, so we're going to go look for motion blur. Uh, we'll leave motion blur on because that'll be on the console. Resolution scale. Performance target. There it is. All right. You just freaking hide it in there, but that's right. Quit telling me what to do. V-Sync. Yes. So we'll leave that there. And it says, sets the target frame rate for render and game thread updates. Some players may experience smoother rendering by lowering to 30. Yeah, but not Colt Eastwood because I've got the hardware to take care of it, because apparently my PC at about $1,100 is miles better than the Xbox One X. You know, I've got a faster processor. I've got a better GPU with the 1070. I think I've got six, just over six teraflops on that GPU. So we are good to go. I am accepting the changes and let's see how the game plays. The game also installed on my SSD, which has hardly any room, so I hope I don't have any problems with that. And I don't have a frame rate counter, but here we go. Let me just go ahead and bump a car like GameSpot did right off the bat. I don't know what GameSpot's problem was this morning. If you watch there, oh, there's a frame rate hitch. Oh my gosh! All right, I won't do that again. I mean, these cars are all worth a few hundred thousand dollars, so I'll try not to bump into them. Everything looks very beautiful. The colors are really nice. Hey, you know what? That was your that was your problem right there. I didn't check the assist, but uh, it feels like it's uh, kind of untethered here. I'll just try to concentrate. Uh, everything looks actually very, very beautiful. If you're sitting next to me, you'd be seeing this game being played on a 55-inch Samsung UHD TV with HDR, which I don't have HDR here on the PC. I didn't see availability for it, so... Let's go to cockpit mode. This is where I drive the best. We'll see if that's true, right? If you're on the Xbox platform, you've played a crap ton of Forza this generation with Forza 5, Forza 6, Forza Horizon 2, Forza Horizon 3, and now this. Also, we were given the original Forza Horizon on backward compatibility, so if you didn't get enough driving in, there's plenty going on this fall with Project Cars 2, Dirt 4 in the spring. Been a lot of racing games lately. Well, I'll tell you what, this game lives up to its stability on this hardware. Um, 
I didn't want to put my foot in my mouth with the quote from Turn 10 that some people had a problem with, but I didn't say it. Turn 10 said it, that you need a 1080 or a Vega 64 to run this game smoothly at 4K60, at basically at Xbox One X settings. And right now with a 3.2 gigahertz processor, an i5, which is a kind of an older CPU, and the GTX 1070, I seem to be doing the job no problem. I was also able to get Forza Horizon 3 running at 4K60 with very little issues as well. And you know, with PC, sometimes it just, sometimes it just depends on the day of what your PC's been through, you know? It's like asking somebody to lift a little more weights after they've had a busy, long, arduous, stressful day. And uh, I'm not always the best about restarting my PC on the regular, so... I'm going to get out of this mode because the camera shake kind of doesn't really give you the uh, correct uh, visual look here. And by now, I know that this came, game came out yesterday by the time this video went up live, but um, you've seen this footage since Gamescom. Plus, you've seen this footage since C3, so I'm not showing you anything you knew, but I am putting to bed Turn 10's... Oh, I just wanted to do a little e-break there. Uh, putting to bed Turn Ted's claim that you need a thousand dollar PC to run this game like the Xbox One X. Which is what they said because when they made that claim I went on to PC Part Picker and I built a PC with those parts. I think I used 8 gigs of RAM of GDDR3 and I used the CPU equivalent and GPU that they were asking about. And it came out to a thousand bucks. That was on the NVIDIA Intel side. If you went AMD, AMD, it was 1200 for some reason. That was a dumb move there. A couple little hitches here and there. But the game looks good. I mean, it's asking a lot. It really is. You know, as we talk about the Xbox One X, it is asking a lot for hardware to pump 4K, especially at 60. And I know this by playing my mainstream games on my PC trying to hit them at 4K. Like a game like Ages of Mayhem, it doesn't even try to think about it. It Running that game at 4K 60, it, it tries and runs the game somewhere in the low 30s, you know? Even lower than 30. Whoa, that would hurt. So let me get one more cool view here. That one's pretty cool right there. I mean, I, I wish you could see a little bit of the uh, steering wheel, but this is like more like what you'd see in real life. They, just, they need to get pull back a little bit. There it is. Forza Horizon <laughs> Forza Motorsport 7 demo. And uh, let me know what you think of it. I mean, it's a racing sim. It's going to be the best one this year, I'm pretty sure. Once all the scores come out, it will probably beat Project Cars and we know it'll beat GT Sport just because a game of this pedigree has just been dominating and all these racing games will sell well. So they'll be, they'll be successful and we'll see more of them as the time goes on. So Anyway, thank you so much. Oh, that looks nice. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.